Hey everybody, this is the third video in our Dynamics CRM plugin series and today we're going to take a look at two more tools that will help you very much when you're developing your CRM plugins. So, and they're awesome. Uh, so let's just take a look at what they are and how you can get them. So uh, yeah, that's right. The first tool that you will need is called XRM Toolbox. Now this is a gold standard when it comes to dynamic CRM tooling. It's actually not a tool from Microsoft. It's a third party community tool, but it's supported by all the best people you can find in the dynamic CRM community. It's 100% safe. And uh, if you have any restrictions in your company, just ask your IT administrator to install that for, yours, for yourself. Um, so yeah, XRM Toolbox is actually a set of tools, but let me just show you how to install it first and then we'll take a quick look at what it is. So um, just go to xromtoolbox.com, then click on download latest version. And once this zip downloads, you can just open it here. And this is actually a zip file, so it, that there, is no, um, there is no installer um, on its own. But what you can do is just select all the files or just go to extract all. And what I suggest you to do is to go to this PC, uh, go to the drive C and go to users and go to the, um, your, your current user. So I'm using Windows Sandbox here to showcase all of this stuff. So this is my username and I'll just go in here and inside of here, I'll create a little folder called XRM Toolbox. Um, this is just to, yeah, this is usually where I, st where I install this, um, not to, not to, yeah. I don't want this to go to my OneDrive, which is usually set up to, to, to synchronize my documents and everything. Um, so yeah, the users folder sounds, sounds like a great idea. And what I usually like to do also is just, um, go to this XRM toolbox. This is now my extracted folder and I can just create a shortcut or I can also pin to start, I think. So now that I have, um, this pin to start, I can just do XRM toolbox and I have it here in my start menu. So if I open this XRM toolbox, just to showcase it very quickly, um, it's again, it's a set of tools and there, there's a lot of tools in here. So we're not gonna go through all of this today, but just so you get the, the basic idea. So the first thing that you, there are multiple ways to get around here, but here is this, here's an important part. You can click on here, not connected and click on create new connection. And what this will allow you to do is connect to your dynamic serum organization, to your dynamic serum tenant. And usually I just go with connection wizard. Um, I'm not gonna show you all the procedures here. We'll cover that when we will register the plugins, but yeah. Uh, let me show you the other part of this toolbox, which is this tools section. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of these. So, um, and the tool we're gonna use is actually, I don't think it's installed by default. Let me just search for it. So plugin, no, it's not. So yeah, I can go to configuration and then tool library and in here search for um, plugin. Um, I see I'll need to wait a bit. I figured out what I was missing. So the first time when you open this tool library, just press here on refresh and this will um, do away with this annoying pop-up. And now you can search for plugin registration, something like that. Yeah, this one with, with these weird flags. This was the former logo of Dynamics Serum, by the way. Um, and what you can do is just click on install. This is actually based off of, what if I just click on continue? Hope that works. <laughs> Um, this is actually based off Microsoft's first party. So this is, this was originally a tool which uh, Microsoft developed themselves and then they later incorporated it within this XRM toolbox. And, um, yeah, a fun fact, there's a, a similar tool, which is, there's a newer version of this tool, but it actually works exactly the same, um, which is available kind of an, as a standalone installation. Um, but it's much more convenient to have everything here within XROM toolbox. It just works, works better. Now, I don't know what this is. Why, why is it not loading? And that's the second thing I wanted to show you today and it's already not working. So let me just try again, tool library and search for plugin registration. Okay. Wait a bit again. It says uninstall, so it looks like it worked, but it's yeah due, due to this issue. So now I can search for plugin 
plugin registration. Yes, exactly. So you will need this plugin. You'll need this, this tool to register plugins. And we'll cover everything about plugin regist registration later on in this series. But uh, yeah, that's it for today about Xtrem Toolbox. And I will probably also make another video just showcasing some of the amazing plugins within this Xtrem Toolbox. Um, so yeah, make sure to stay tuned and um, yeah, you will see some really amazing tools. Now, the second thing that we will install today is called Level Up. It's an, a Chrome or Edge extension, which allows you to do some developer stuff within your Dynamics environment, like showing the actual logical names of your fields right within the forms. That's usually not available, or you can you, you must dig very deeply to do so, um, to, to get these names. Um, you, if you don't know what, what I'm talking about, just, just stick with me and I'll show you just in a second. So, so yeah, for this part, I will be, yeah, I'm, I'm using Edge. I promise I won't be using Edge for, for very long in this series, but I'm here in my environment and look at that name. It's awesome. <laughs> um, so if you want to write plugins and interact with the fields, you actually can't use these names here. You, these are just form names and these are human readable names. If you want to interact with these fields, you need to know what's called logical names of these fields. And if I just go to, yeah, if I show you a hacky way to do it, so you can right click on the field, click on inspect, and you will get what, what's called Chrome development tools. Now, this is very, very complicated. Uh, so don't worry, you won't need to, to do this, but I would just want to show you how to get the name of this field. Maybe it's this name here, <laughs> but I don't know for sure. So one way is to, to just try and search through, through this, this, this salad here. The other way to get the name of this field is to go to make.powerapps.com and go to your app and just edit it and then wait a bit go to accounts form and then you can click on and you can click on this account name again and yeah it's what okay I, I need to also add it to the, the form of course and in here i should be able to just click on this field and yeah, so, and now I have this information here and it says name. And yeah, I was right. Looks like I um, I also find the name of this field through, through that salad before, but it's 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 very cumbersome. You need these names all the times, all, all the time. And it, it's just inconvenient to always go back to, to make that power apps to get them. So there was a nice little plugin called, um, I'll just search for Chrome Web Store first. And Microsoft Edge add-ons. Let's see if that's that's available here as well. Um, level up. Yeah, it is available. There's this this there's this little rocket. I did not know that this existed. So so that's 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 for for um, Edge. If you're using Edge, but if you don't want to use Edge, you, you can just go to Chrome Web Store. Um, and yeah, Edge and search for level up here as well. Level up. And that's, that's the thing. So level up for Dynamics Power Apps, you can install these, or you can go to um, Edge Addons, and I believe this is the exact same thing. Yeah, this is the exact same thing. This is this is the plugin. So I can just click on Get, Add Extension. There, although it'll be something similar for, for Chrome. Um, and yeah, now you have this little rocket here. And now you can go back to your to your environment, not make.powerapps, but actual account here and just refresh the page and click on this little rocket. And now you have this nice um, kind of dashboard with all this fancy stuff. So one thing that you can do here, in, and it's the first thing on the list, you can just click on logical names here. And voila, you have all the, the this, this this logical names right here within the form without needing to go to 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 the entity form or anything else. You can now just copy and paste all these names here. Um, it's it's really really convenient. If you don't want to see them anymore, you can just click. You can just refresh the page, or you can also click on clear logical names. That also works. Another really useful thing that you can find here is this all fields. And all fields is, there's there are logical names and you can actually search, let's say, let's do name. This all fields shows all, all, all fields that are available here on this entity, even if they are not 
shown on this exact form. As you know, you can have multiple forms and some forms hide certain fields for security reasons or whatnot. But this way you can see all the fields, all the values on this entity. So you don't need to, to use Web API or whatever to, to get these values. So yeah, that's, that's the second tool I wanted to show you today. I think it's really awesome and I use it all the time when I'm developing my plugins. So there it is. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I promise we'll get to coding soon, but I needed to show you how to install these tools because they're really convenient and they will help you very much when you're developing your plugins. So I'm Lauro, it's been very nice meeting you and we'll see each other in the next series, right? Yeah, make sure to subscribe. Okay, see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.